And now, a word from our sponsor. Sometimes, life can overwhelm you. It may leave you asking yourself, why am I so anxious? What is the meaning of my existence? And where can I get the juiciest steak in town? Then welcome to Psyche on Sunset, LA's hottest new restaurant. Where all your caring servers are trained and licensed clinical psychologists. A place to work out your issues in a safe, supportive atmosphere while enjoying four-star cuisine. Psyche on Sunset, hearty meals, healing therapy. Whose jacket is that? It's Ryan's. Oh, you're wearing that boy's jacket you're now? You're being so annoying. I just want to finish this text. Are you texting him right now? I, Dad, just calm down. Just yeah, take, take that. Off my yeah, phone. Take you're that. messing it oh, up. Man. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I had a table of narcissists, and they need a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Dr. Ronnie Rollins. I'm your server tonight. I'm also a therapist and the author of several self-help books available at the hostess stand near the Mintfall. I'm a little tense here, so let's bring it down and keep it real. Great. So do we call you uh, Ronnie? Yes. Dr. Ronnie. Why are we here tonight? Well, my daughter Caitlin and I, have, we've hit a rough patch. Uh, since I divorced her mom, she's been pulling away, not communicating I at do all. too! Okay, Boomer is not communicating. Look, look, he's yelling at me again. So look, I'm not yelling at you. Okay, okay, let's take a minute. In my book, only you can be the you that only you know you can be. I say that if you're not pulling together, there's no pull to pull you in. <laughs> it's right here in my updated edition. Couldn't update the photo? Um, I just took that. That's called a filter. Right, Boomer? <laughs> Cause he's... Can we just get some drinks? I hear you, and I respect your needs. Yes, what would you like? I'll have a Diet Coke. Mmm! Diet Coke. What? A young, attractive girl always obsessing about her weight. Clearly you have body image issues that border on bulimia or even, oof, anorexia. But. I say in my book, the face that you're looking at in the mirror is not the face of She's not the... anorexic. She, she's diabetic. She can't have the sugar. Oh, I'm sorry. Because we have a decadent lava cake for dessert. Save some room, Dad. <laughs> but let's not obsess over missing out on an award-winning dessert. Darn it! <laughs> You've been pulling away. How is that manifesting itself? She used to be a model student. Now she's ringing around with the wrong crowd, flunking classes, and she just dropped out of marching band. I hate marching no, band. No, you do not hate marching I band. I do. They're a bunch okay, of uptight Okay, Dad. You're an uptight nerd. Hold it. I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm going to have to go with Caitlin on this one. Back in high school, you and your linebacker friends were probably not the greatest to me. <laughs> Swirlies, wedgies, Bulgarian butt punches. Just <laughs> Wrong. I used to defend guys like you on the debate team, right? We were state champs. Anything in that book about assumptions? Yes. You assume that your memories are fact, but that's not what actually happened. I say in my book, how can you speak your truth when your truth is untruthful? Chapter 12. <laughs> Fine. Can we just order? I'll have the super ego platter with the Freudian fries and the libido taquitos. Mm, excellent. Caitlin? I'll have the mouth-watering Pavlov's dog with chili. Oh, no, 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 honey, don't, don't order that. Don't, the grease make it break out. <laughs> what daddy is saying, my daughter has acne, therefore I love her less. No. Yes, it's called the father-daughter dichotomy. Your words say one thing, but your actions say another. 
follow me. Sure, you tell her she's intelligent and pretty, but then you turn around and you criticize her weight, the way she dresses, the boys that she goes out with. Yeah. Poor Caitlin feels oppressed and confused and it leads her into poor life decisions. She ditches, she parties, she sleeps around like a common road horse. Caitlin? Only searching for the unconditional love that you're not giving her at home. See? Every time he makes me feel bad. I'm here for you. So one time, Ronnie. Dr. Ronnie, honey. Dr. Ronnie. It got so bad that I just laid in bed for a whole weekend. I didn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And by Sunday, I was having some really dark thoughts. And then, and then I realized that- Ronnie, you got food up. Oh, shit. There's a showing at eight. Okay. If we like hurry up and go and see it. Let's go. Okay. Wow, look who's getting along. Obviously you perused my book. Oh no, we didn't even look at that thing. <laughs> oh, sorry, I dripped chili all over it. Mm, let's see. You know, when uh, Caitlin talked about how bad it was for her, I decided I should slow down and listen more. Yeah, plus we found something we can agree on. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. common ground, chapter three. Yeah, we both think you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> oh, uh, time's up. But uh, next week, same time? Hell, Hell no. no. Jinx! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Caitlin. No. Yeah. <laughs>